the fabrication, the lies, the, the, you know, the things that go out there. I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, there's a show on Fox, and Fox generally treats me good. The anchors are great. But there's a woman, Dana Perino. I hardly know her. So what happens, I have to explain the story. So she calls me up. Mr. Trump, I'm doing a book. Could you give me a tweet? Now, I have 3 million followers on Twitter and 2 million followers on Facebook. I have 5 million. It's like owning the New York Times without the losses. It's fantastic. <laughs> and everybody that does a book, it's true. Everybody that does a book, they all call me. Mr. Trump, people I don't even know, please. I said, but I never met you. I don't want to give you a tweet. <laughs> so Dana Perino, she comes out, and I, I watch her on the show. Got a little problem with, like, marbles in the mouth. And I watch her on the show. But she comes out. She has lunch with me a while ago, then another lunch. And then she calls and she wants to know, could I do a tweet? And I say, absolutely. I'd love to. Let's send over the book. So I do a tweet. Her manager writes me saying, Mr. Trump, thank you so much. It was so great. We'll do another one, blah, blah, blah. I have all these notes. Then she sends me a card, Mr. Trump, thank you so much. And she sends me the book, and it says something so nice. I won't even tell you it's so nice. Everything's beautiful. And her book did OK. I wouldn't say it's exactly gone with the wind, all right? <laughs> and, and then she, I see her on television on O'Reilly the other night, and she's attacking me. I say, what kind of people are these? She's attacking me. So I say to myself, that's incredible. Then she attacked me again. I said, wait a minute. She's writing me all these. She wrote me the most beautiful letters. She called me. That was like two months ago. Tough business, right? <laughs>